Welcome everyone. Um, I'm just making sure my computer has begun. I've been having some computer issues. Okay, we're all good. Um, today we are doing a love reading, pure and simple. This can talk about twin flames. It may talk about soulmates. It's talking about love. And beyond that, I don't really want to put a title on it. Um, this could be current relationships. What I'm doing is I'm having a conversation between the two uh, to, to find out where they're at, what's going on. If this is something that I expect to come together, you know, why hasn't it come together yet? Or um, if it's a current relationship, you know, and there's any issues, what can I do to clear those issues? So trust your intuition. Let go of any type of fear-based energy and uh, let's begin. So we're going to use actually three different decks, but we're going to use a deck for each side. Again, it can be the masculine or the feminine or, you know, too feminine, too masculine, wherever you're at. Uh, but we just want to see where both energies are at. So I'm going to, we're going to use the light seers for one side. I'm going to put them up here for right now. We're going to use the Lumer's Tarot for the other side. Um, I feel like I want to give them a name. So I feel like I'm going to call them, I don't know, like the name Peter keeps coming to me, Peter. So maybe Peter's going to be on this side again. You can be female, but certainly be on this side. And I feel like Mary, Mary is over here. So Peter and Mary. Peter, Paul, and Mary. Um, <laughs> maybe this is Paul over here. So we're going to use the Gilded Tarot to connect these two. But let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to be for all signs. You know, you're just looking for love or you're in love and you want to know what's going on. You want to know why things have not come together yet. You know, whatever it may be, we're going to figure it out. These readings are longer. Um, but that's what they need to be. So, settle in. You know, how do you know if a reading is for you? You'll feel it. You'll feel it. And, you know, don't make something fit you. Because I try to do a lot of these. So, let's just say, for example, this one. Maybe it's not for you. But maybe there's some messages in here for you anyway. Uh, there's other readings out there that may call to you. Just look through my playlist. I have a Twin Flame playlist. I have a Soulmate playlist. All Sign playlist. I have a playlist for everything. So we're, be we're going to begin with Peter. Again, Peter can be male or female. I'm just giving, giving it a name. I am going to shuffle. So... Let's open this up. What say you, Peter? What's going on with you? What's happening in your life right now? All right, we have the King of Wands. King of Wands can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be, though. Um, the energy of the King of Wands, definitely action-oriented. This is someone who really moves according to their desires. You know, something stirs my desire. Normally, I'm going to move towards it. Think about it later. Um, so, we're beginning with the king. Interesting, we now have the page of wands. This could be someone's younger energy. For some of you, this can talk about, you know, someone that you used to know or someone you knew of a younger period that may have been, um, you know, let's just say their younger years. And I feel like a king or queen means more of like current day energy. So right off the bat, I'm feeling, let me bring this slide down a little bit for you. Um, right off the bat, I'm feeling that there's growth on this side. It's interesting how the king is looking back. The page is looking forward. Um, this can also talk about this king's like inner child. You know, like... And, and let's talk about the page for a second before we move on. Because the page of wands to me... First of all, I feel like carries the fool's energy. This is someone who um, takes chances 
cha takes chances in life. Uh, not all of them pay off. Some of them, they fail. But I feel like the Page of Wands is someone who would get back up and try it again. Um, you know, doesn't let their failures become, doesn't block them. Um, you know, and I feel like that's their natural energies. Could be someone who's got, like, who's very fiery, who's very passionate about life. You know, um, it's interesting because I feel like because the page is facing eventually Mary, that it's like their inner child is guiding them. So let's see. But the king is looking back. That makes me feel like this king is thinking of someone of their past. Let's keep going. We have the Ace of Wands. Well, perfect ace for these two or this one person who is again, you know, um, I just feel like carrying their inner child energy is like it's what's really prominent right now. So the ace of wands, whether they're handing this ace over to Mary or it's just some type of new action within their life. Ace of wands to me is first of all, action-oriented perfect people to come out for uh, it's desirable it's passionate uh, it is something that you do need to reach out for you know it's like it's like spirit can put that passion within your soul but ultimately it becomes your choice of whether you're going to accept it or not I definitely feel like I feel like Peter is um, I feel like Peter wants potentially another chance. Um, I have a feeling Peter has looked at his life and has now understood that, yes, you know, there's been times in my life where I did follow, you know, my desires and it may have gotten me in trouble a few times. Um, I could have even lost the love of my life over it. But nonetheless, I feel like I'm I'm coming back to my truth. You know, I'm coming back to um, the energy of really who I'd like to see in my life. Then we have the Five of Swords. Well, I feel like Peter is owning this energy. You know, this is the energy. First of all, it's a five. So it speaks about change. And it makes sense with an ace here, right? So this, this king or Peter wants wants a change in his or her life um five of swords talks about you know toxic energy that exists around you know around us uh can even be our thought system but i don't feel like it's so much a thought system here because again we have so much action oriented energy opening this reading i feel like this is more of peter realizing his own energy, or her, or her own energy. I know you guys don't like it when I say her or him. Um, that's why I gave him a name. So this talks about some type of toxicity that is around the king right now. Um, and the king does want to make a change because of that. Some of this could even be, again, the king's younger energy. You know, maybe... Maybe I became toxic. If I'm Peter, I became toxic to you. Um, you know, I, I, the communication within the Five of Swords is not good. It's just not. It's not good. But I feel like this king is ready for a change. I know the king is ready for a change because I don't think the ace would be here otherwise. Okay, well, that didn't take long. Hmm, look at this Six of Cups. Someone that I used to know. Six of Cups is the energy of, you know, because we're doing a love reading, to me, it's talking about Peter's remembering someone. And truly, the thoughts of this person, I feel like makes Peter's heart feel whole. I feel like... um Again, Peter may have made some decisions in 
his life that didn't turn out right you know what I mean like but you know let's just say you know no regret no excuses um, I am who I am right I am action oriented I do move according to my desires but now I feel like I've matured and because I've matured um, I'm realizing that, you know, as it relates to a partner, you know, someone that I really want to spend the rest of my life with, well, this is someone that Peter knew. This is someone that Peter has very happy and treasured memories of. I have a feeling when Peter lays his head down on his pillow at night, it's Mary that he thinks about. Even if he's in a current relationship, I feel like it's Mary that I think about. We have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords can be communication is coming in. You know, it seems to be coming in towards Peter. But it's interesting because the Knight of Swords is actually mirroring the Five of Swords. I have a feeling, I have a feeling that um, there either is a breakup or there's about to be a breakup. Now, let's say that you're with Peter and you're like, wait a minute, does that mean Peter's leaving me? No, that's not the kind of energy that I'm feeling. I'm feeling that um, if you're here, you would be either Mary or Peter, not, not the other party, you know. But I do feel like, you know, I, I feel like somehow Peter got himself involved with, let's just say people, a person. But I feel like even the people that he surrounded himself with um, turned out not to be the best energy for him. Now, I do feel like this king has evolved. I definitely feel that, no doubt. Um, I definitely feel like this king is thinking about, you know, what's next, new growth, right? All these wands, they all have brand new growth on them. And it brings it back right to the middle of the Six of Cups. Again, someone that I used to know, someone that I hold treasured memories of. Um, sometimes we don't even know that, right, until those words are actually spoken. Well, hello, Two of Cups. So we have a soulmate on the table. That's Mary, no doubt. It's Mary. Again, don't worry if your name's not Mary. I'm just giving them a title. But this is a soulmate energy. Um, you know, it is connected to the Five of Swords. And, you know, just because someone's a soulmate doesn't mean that things necessarily work out at the time that we expect them to work out. And what I mean by that is if, if Peter and Mary were together at a younger age, maybe Peter hadn't matured at that time. He was still chasing those, those dreams or, you know, following those passions, um... You know, maybe even doing some things that became toxic to him eventually in his life. You know, I feel like while well, I was in it, maybe I enjoyed it. But ultimately, I'm now realizing that um, how toxic it's become to my life. So we have a soulmate. We already knew that, though. At least I already knew that. And then we have the Seven of Cups. So Peter may be thinking about reaching out. Um, I feel like Peter's very clear on who the soulmate is. And I, I feel very clear it's Mary. No doubt. You know, the page and the ace is moving this direction. Seven of Cups coming under the Six of Cups. Interesting. I feel like that is really signifying how this energy will be met let's get our last card out and then um or whatever wants to come out i say last card then i always get more than one but let's see
we have the three swords, that's why. So I feel like Peter did break Mary's heart. And I do feel like it was at a younger time. Now, when I say younger time, it could have been a year ago. Um, but it could also have been 20 years ago. But the heartache is here, right? And I feel like the realization is also here. I do feel like Peter surrounded himself with, um, you know, I hate to say the wrong people because maybe at that time he felt they were the right people. But they didn't help him as it relates to his personal growth. He had to figure that out on his own. So I feel like the Seven of Cups is, is here because Peter may be questioning how, well, I feel like he's handing that wand over, how that wand will be received. I do feel like there might have to be some type of an apology. I get that a lot in these readings. I really do. Um, there may need to be some type of recognition of my own part in something. Let's see what else we got. Look at that. The Five of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. All right. The Five of Wands to me is a lot of ego. Again, we'll kind of explain the king up here. Or or let's say the page. Um, but it is, an, it is the energy of a lot of ego. I have a feeling that this is talking about two people who were together at a younger time. Again, whether it's a year ago or 20, 30, 40 years ago. It is um, kind of battling type energy. It's almost like if I'm expecting someone to back down, not going to happen, right? It's almost like, mm -mm, my ego is too big. But then we have the Eight of Pentacles. I thought that was the Seven of Pentacles, but it's the Eight of Pentacles. Eight, new beginning. Number of infinity. As above, so below. No beginning, no end. Doesn't mean everything works out when we want it to work out, but maybe it works out in divine timing. To me, the Eight of Pentacles talks about wherever you put your focus on, that's what you're going to grow. I have a feeling Peter has started a new life, probably in more than one area of his life. I definitely feel like um, he... Or she is eliminating or saying goodbye to a certain type of energy. Again, that kind of has held him back. Um, though, again, I, I get this energy like I can't, re like if I'm Peter, like I'm feeling I can't regret, right? Because I learned a lot through that. Um, but I also understand I lost a lot through that energy. So through my immaturity, through my, you know, not thinking and just moving, you know, according to my passion, I lost Mary. I lost Mary. Some of you, this could certainly be someone that you used to work with. Or maybe you'll begin working with. I often feel like... When soulmates come together, um, they can definitely help each other. It doesn't mean they have to work together, but I definitely feel the supporting of each other in whatever it is they do. All right, let's put that up there. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Look at this, the Two of Wands. So Peter's ready for this change. He's ready to make a move. Knight of Cups, look at that. Knight of Cups underneath that. And, you know, the Knight of Cups speaks about an unexpected cup of fulfillment. Mary may be reaching out to Peter. And if that's the case, I feel like, automatically, I feel like Peter's going to say yes. But part of me feels like it's Peter reaching out to Mary. Unexpected couple fulfillment. Two of Wands is like saying, okay, I'm ready. 
let's begin this next path. And it's interesting that it's a wands again. So it's very natural to Peter's energy. This is the willingness to take a step forward. Not even the willingness, but the wanting to take a step forward. And then the Nine of Pentacles is under that. I have a feeling this person has been um, very busy in their career, you know, setting up success for themselves. I have a feeling it was important for them to do that. Again, some of you, we have the Eight of Pentacles here, could be someone that you met through work or met through like a creative avenue. Um, but again, I don't feel like things worked out because I feel like, again, there was a lot of ego involved. I feel like there was not such great communication. Almost felt like Mary had no choice. Well, whoever broke it off, I feel like Mary also felt like, like you know, if if the people that were surrounding this king, let's say it's their fr his friends, like I can, I feel like Mary is saying, but I could see that. I could see that they were talking to you. But you didn't. You couldn't. Well, maybe he just didn't want to. You know what I mean? And um, because, again, I feel the growth within this king. Unexpected. It's like, you know, Mary can't even plan for it. It's two of wands. I feel like it's saying, this is the time. This is when I want to start moving forward. Three swords mirroring the soulmates over here. So it is telling us, well, you know, and the three swords is also mirroring that ace of cups. Three swords mirroring the king. So I feel like the king probably caused a little bit more of the heartache. Um, but, you know, in the same breath, I feel like, but I never forgot Mary. I never forgot her. I never forgot her. And now, as I'm maturing, I'm, I'm understanding that more. You know, maybe I've had relationships, and um, maybe they served me for a little while, but not for long. I feel like this king really had to learn how to be in a relationship. You know, how not to just think about oneself, but think as a couple. This is clarifying to me that this is soulmate energy. So, to me, that means it was meant to be. So, even the experiences were probably meant to be. I know a lot of people don't like hearing, hear, don't like me saying that, um, but that's life, right? Because I feel like, I feel like somehow the communication just fell apart. I feel like there was a lot of ego at that part, you know, at that time period. Um, but that doesn't mean that I didn't love someone because I do feel like that love, you know, when I think of the two of cups, again, it's like an eight. I feel like there's no beginning, no end. Whether we find a way to make it in this lifetime, we're still going to be back together again, you know, after this lifetime. But I do feel like this king is like, how, how will my communication to Mary or my cup, you know, with the Knight of Cups that I want to bring in this Ace of Wands, you know, asking Mary, you know, to please take action, like, you know, please accept this Ace. Um, how will be? How will it be received? I feel like this may have held this King back for a little while, almost like there's no way Mary's going to take me back. But I can't stop thinking about her at the same time. So I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to take a leap of faith. And I'm just going to see what happens. All right, let's move into Mary. And um, let's see what's going on with Mary. You know, because these are soulmates... I feel like even if Mary is still carrying a little of that negative energy from the past, she would still 
have love for this person. Not only that, but I, I feel like soulmates can feel each other's energy even when they're not together. So she may feel that something is coming towards her. Um, but we'll see. Let's, let's get into the cards and see. And then we'll connect them with the Gilded Tarot. All right. Mary, Mary, Mary. Mary, quite contrary. We have the Page of Wands. Interesting. Page of Wands is on both sides. I feel like Mary um, is kind of a free-loving, easygoing type of person herself. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like Mary lives a life of restriction. Um, though I do feel like her morals are very strong. But in the same breath, I, I do feel like this is someone who also will take chances in life. Look at that. Seven of Cups. Four of Cups. Interesting. You know what's interesting is the page... Excuse me. The page did show in reverse. And um, I, I tell myself before I begin a reading whether I'm going to read reversals or not. But in a, And I said, no, I'm not going to read reversals today. But in a way, I kind of feel this. Because I feel like... I feel like Mary is, is a free-loving type of person. And I'm saying free-loving. I don't mean I go and, you know, I love everyone. I make love to everyone. I mean as in a free spirit. That's really what I meant to say. However, I feel like if I'm looking at her current life right now, we have the Four of Cups. That talks about discontentment, right? There's something within her emotional life that she's not satisfied with. Four of Cups says, use your spiritual discernment as it relates to making any decisions. As, let's just say, Peter starts moving towards you. Do I believe Peter? Do I believe that he has matured? That he has put the toxic energy behind him? I'm saying that because the Seven of Cups, again, it's like, do I take a chance? Yet at the same time, I feel like Mary, she's not content. She's not content with her life right now. Hmm. I get this feeling that Mary may have married someone. Um, though, again, it's interesting because I'm looking at the person in the Seven of Cups and I'm thinking, man, he just looks like a Peter to me. Like he looks like a Peter. So, Mary's trying to make a decision. But at the same time, she's discontent within her own life right now. At least the emotional part of her life. We have the Emperor, card of Aries. Well, we have a lot of fire over here, so it can certainly relate to an Aries for some. But this is really what I think. I feel like Mary is saying as this starts moving towards her even if I'm not sure that something's moving to me towards me I get this feeling and I feel like in a way it's like I feel like Mary is hoping for it now the emperor showing here's what I think Mary's saying if you're coming into my life you've got to be someone that I can look up to you know, you have to be someone who has learned from your experiences. Otherwise, I'm just not going to be interested. Um, interesting that this person over here, didn't I see the Nine of Pentacles? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles. This person could be a business owner. 
this king may be a business owner. I do feel like this is the king moving into Mary's energy. Let's keep going. Two fours, by the way. All right. Well, look at this. The Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. So, this Ace is coming towards Mary. And I'm saying that because it is putting Mary in the energy of making a decision. I was going to say needing to make a decision, but she doesn't have to make a decision. Right? She may just be like, I'm just going to ignore it. I'm not going to answer the call. That type of thing. But at the same time, she's discontent within her own life. Well, hello, son. Carter Leo. Um, this is illumination. You know, I feel like this is like the universe saying to you, because this is soulmate energy, that there's really not much to fear here. Um, because everything will be illuminated. You just need to pay attention, right? Like the signs will be given. Again, I feel like Mary almost feels this energy coming towards her. Maybe she's trying to make a decision before it even reaches her. But I do feel like this Knight of Cups. You know, it's interesting because we have the Knight, uh, not Knight of Cups, we have the Knight of Swords over here, and now the Knight of Swords has moved over to here. But carrying the Emperor's energy. And to me, that's a good thing. Again, it's someone that... Um, I feel like carries a lot of value. You know, I do feel like it's someone who is successful within their, within the material world, let's just say. Potentially even a business owner or a leader of the people in some way, somehow. The sun illuminates everything. You know, I often say in this energy, what's done in the dark will come to the light. Sometimes I just need to give people time to reveal that, right? But this is also about a brand new day. It's like the sun is helping illuminate to Mary that you're not quite satisfied within your current life. Now, it doesn't have to mean all parts of her life. It's more in the emotional aspect of her life. And the sun's going to help illuminate that for her. You know, I also feel like the sun speaks about, like, our childlike type of energy. Again, the Page of Wands, which I often call the Fool. And I mean that in a good way. Like, I feel like the Fool as in, you know, I take chances. I do take a leap of faith. It is, again, in reverse. Though I wasn't going to take it in reverse, but I feel like I have to. Um... And I don't feel like it's necessary and necessarily a no. I just feel like it may be almost like saying you got to prove yourself. I feel very quickly I'll be able to recognize whether this person has matured, you know, has grown up, so to speak, has put that toxic type of energy behind them again it could be like a group of friends that just you know like hey let's go out let's go out but i'm in a relationship well let's go out okay okay and then mary's left at home you know it can be family like mary is not the right one she's just not the right one she's not the right one and for some reason the king buys that but down the road the king realizes she is the one. Five of Cups, look at that. So Mary is missing this person. Now, what's interesting about the Five of Cups, it does speak of change because it's a five. It also speaks about where one's focus is at. And in the Five of Cups, my focus is on what I have lost. However, when this person is willing to change their focus, what they find are two cups that have yet to be discovered. 
Well, here are the two cups, and they're in this exact same position. So Mary knows that this person is a soulmate. You know, whether I give them that title or not, I just know there's something. There's something. There's a reason why I can't forget them. We have the page of pentacles. Two pages now. Well, three pages, actually. Um, for some, this could talk about like one side being a fire and one side being earth. But the Page of Pentacles really speaks about a path of knowledge. Some of you could speak about a period when you met again, whether it was like we worked together or maybe we even went to school together. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Interesting because we have the Page of Wands and then the King of Wands. Now we have the Page of Pentacles and now we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is telling me that some time has elapsed between the two, these two being together. You know, I do feel like it's in this lifetime, but it doesn't mean that you have not been in each other's lives in previous lifetimes because chances, chances are you have. But look at that. You know, what else I find interesting is I feel like Mary almost feels, not almost, but she feels that there's this potential of something coming towards her. And I do feel like Mary is thinking, hmm, I have a feeling. Now, I don't know if she's putting a name to it yet. You know, like, I don't know if it's, like, definitely this person I'm feeling, but I have a feeling it is. I love that we have the page and the king and the page and the queen. So, let's talk about the queen of pentacles for a second. Again, don't worry about the sign. Think about the energy. Um, but if it was a sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, because I know some of you are like, but give me the sign, Sandy. Um, this queen of pentacles... It makes perfect sense that she would come out because the, this queen is someone who can really um, pick up those details that other people miss. She's in tuned. Um, you know, I feel like there are, are a lot of uh, tarot readers who are earth signs. Um, why? Because, again, I feel like, you know, it's like we can read between the lines. There's dissatisfaction within my current, let's just say, love life. But then the sun comes out to help illuminate that, right? Whether I make a change because of this king or I make a change just because I'm dissatisfied with my current life, whatever it may be. But then I have to come down to this five of cups that is mirroring the two of cups. I mean... Mary is missing this person. She's thinking about this person. But her focus is more on the loss than the potential of what can be. I get this a lot in these type of readings where I feel like one side is going to have to convince the other side. And I say convince, maybe, oh, that was my chair, sorry. Um, maybe it's just really showing the truth. Again, the Emperor showing up feels to me like this is someone that you can now look up to. This is someone who has put others before themselves. Where here, I feel like as they were a page, they put themselves before others. I feel like that's changed. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of Mary's deck. Look at that. The Knight of Cups. Look how calm this knight is. He's almost like, okay. When the timing is right, the timing is right. You know, I also get this, and, and how could this not be part of, not everyone's story, but some people's story where, you know, Mary, again, maybe... I'm, you know, not content with my current emotional life. 
and maybe um, I'm connected to someone. Maybe she makes a decision that it's no longer what I want. And maybe she posts that on Facebook or Twitter or one of her social media platforms. And it just so happens that whether she knows this king is looking at those platforms or not, it's like knowing the right time to come in. You know, it can also be like subliminal message being sent over to the king. Again, Mary's thinking about her younger days. And when you look at this queen of pentacles, it's like she's meditating. Right? She's, she's in deep meditation. Well, what's she married by? Mirrored by the five of cups. So she does want to change, right? But she knows that she's got to take her focus off what, what I've lost and start thinking about well, what's left, what's, what else is out there? What new could come my way? Well, I'll tell you what new can come her way. The two of cups, because that's what's marrying it. You know, we can't ignore the three of swords. It happened, right? It happened. But how amazing, the Knight of Cups on Mary's side now, where Peter also has the Knight of Cups, but with the Two of Wands. So it makes it, so now I do feel like it is Peter um, making the um, initial contact, however that may happen. And hopefully we'll get clarity in that. Beautiful. Eight of Pentacles underneath that. Hmm. A lot of synchronicities right off the bat. Let's put, let's do this. Let's make more room. So let's put them together. Now, let's bring in the Gilded Tarot. And then what I'm going to do is go right down the middle first and connect them. And then we'll go back and we'll clarify whatever needs clarified. You know, in one way, this just sounds like a simple love reading and like, oh, okay, they're coming together. But don't forget, there does feel like there's been, like time has elapsed. It does feel like there was toxicity. There does feel like there was outside influence. Um, and ultimately, there was heartache. All of that existed, right? So all of that needed to be worked out. But in the same breath, I feel like, I feel like the love, even if I remarried, even if maybe I didn't remarry, but I've had other relationships since then, didn't feel the same. Doesn't mean I didn't love. It just didn't feel the same. Like why, oh why, Peter, did you have to be toxic? Now it doesn't mean Mary was perfect. Don't get me wrong, but I do feel like it was Mary who ultimately ended up with the Three of Swords. Now, I feel like ultimately, now the king may carry that Three of Swords, right? It's like, ah, oh, I really miss someone now. I really miss Mary. Um, I, really, I really would like to bring Mary and I back together. But I just don't know how it's going to be received. Okay. Let's go right in between the two of them. We have the tower. We have the four of pentacles. You know, the tower doesn't surprise me because there was a tower. You know, that's what the three swords is. It was a tower. Um, it's almost like someone fell from grace. And who fell from grace? Well, I feel like the king fell from grace. Again, male or female. And I know that confuses some of you, but I feel like if you're going to watch my channel, you just got to, you know, I feel like eventually you understand how I read and um, then you get it. So then, so there was a tower, no doubt. But now we have the four pentacles under that tower. To me, because it's right next to the emperor and then right next to the knight of swords, I feel like something I may be saying is, listen, 
I, you know, my foundation back in the day, it was on shaky ground. But now, it's sturdy. Now, I understand to be in a relationship, I have to think about the front foundation first and foremost. And that means the two. It's a four. The two people coming together. I feel like this person over here also... You know, I feel like they feel proud of themselves of what they have accomplished, um, like in their material world. But emotionally, I don't feel... It's interesting because I feel like neither side is really emotionally happy. Justice. Cutting a ties. Card of Libra, first of all. You know, it is a cutting of ties because it is mirroring the the tower. However, to me when justice shows up in a reading, it's about making one whole again. And I have a feeling what it's really making, what it's bringing back to whole are these two people could have been married and then divorced could be now let me make this clear because I get comments all the time people saying how could you be asking me to go back to my narcissistic husband or wife never do what I ever recommend that ever again this is about energy yes there was toxic energy no doubt but I feel like as it moves over to Mary's life, let's say, it's talking about the growth of someone. Now, if this person has had no growth, well, then there's your answer. You know what I mean? And that may be why the two is also here, taking it slow. The sun, all would be revealed. If there are red flags, you're going to be shown those red flags. You do have to pay attention to them. I don't feel like there's any red flags. I feel like there are plenty of red flags back here. You know, back in the day, so to speak. So, I also feel like there's someone who ended up with a karmic partner. And, um... You know, I get this feeling like like maybe Mary ended up with a karmic partner. Maybe she married someone. And um, again, I feel like this king is like paying attention to her social media. But she may not know that. And she may make the announcement that I cut ties. Right? I divorced. She may have changed her status from married to single. You know, it's complicated to single. I think it's very clear that it would say single. And that, be, that may be why Peter ultimately decides to move forward. But don't forget, justice is about making you whole again. It's sitting right next to the Three of Swords. And the Five of Cups. Okay, let's look at a couple things. Um, I don't think I need to clarify it all. And I know sometimes it, this all sounds so simple, right? But don't ignore, you know, don't ignore, like, you know, again, this king had some type of toxicity around him, which then he became, um... You know, which I feel like ruined a relationship, um, did cause heartache, but at the same breath, the soulmate energy is here. We're doing a love reading. This is showing us that these two people are soulmates. I'm saying these two. It's probably talking to many people, but it is about soulmate energy. Mary has the Five of Cups. 
So, you know, focusing on what I have lost, but then when I change that focus, those two, those two cups appear. Now, is it immediate? Maybe. But nonetheless, they do appear. And I feel like that's why Mary has a feeling. Because both of them have the Knight of Cups. But this side is the one that has action attached to it. So I feel like this side is the one who's receiving it. Okay. Let's just start over on Peter's side. Let's look at the Ace of Wands. Interesting. Two twos. Two wands, two pentacles. You know, I feel like this is Peter saying, I know what I want, but I don't know how it's going to be received. But I know what I want. Because I'm looking at the Ace of Wands. Right, so going from the Ace directly to the Two. With Peter having the Two on the bottom of his deck. But how will Mary receive it? The Twos. Well, let's just move forward and let's ask that question. You know, the Page of Wands being in reverse, again, maybe I don't receive it even though I want it, maybe I don't say yes right away. But let's let's move to Mary's side. Temperance. Hmm. Divine timing. Patience. Again, patience tells me that there's been a period of time in between um, when we were together. I love the temperance came out because it, it feels divine. This is about divine timing. And you know what else? I always feel temperance's job, so to speak, is to make sure both cups are equally filled. And maybe that's what the divine timing is, is about. You know, I may want something before it's time. The temperance is like, it's just not time yet. Just not time yet. Maybe this person just, maybe these two came together in a younger time just to activate that energy. But it still doesn't necessarily mean it is the time that they will spend the rest of their lives together. Why would that be? Well, because there may be important things that each needed to accomplish as a soul. Like, you know, I feel like, you know, as as a spiritual being, we there's more than just love in a lifetime, right? There are other things that are important also. Love is important, yes, but there's other things. And sometimes, you know, it's like, okay, this activated our hearts, but there were other things that also needed to take place. And by the way, I feel like this king or Peter or whoever this may be um, is coming in, again, much more focused, much more knowing what he wants and who he wants. Um, I feel like, you know, if like I had a group of friends around me who were just bad news, especially to Mary, then I must have changed friends. Or I feel like the king understood that, right? Temperance says, let go of control. Let go of the things you cannot control. And trust in me, right? It's handing over the fear. And know that in divine timing, what's meant to be will be. It's on Mary's side. Carter Sagittarius, by the way. Ten of Wands. That makes sense. Because again, Mary is sitting in, 
you know, at least in her emotional life, she's sitting in a in a in an energy that is dissatisfactory to her. You know, she's not content. Ten of Wands talks about a period of time where, listen, this can talk about um, the heaviness the heaviness that Mary has carried, and maybe maybe that's part of it. Like, I had to learn to let that go. You know, I feel like also I need to understand all perspectives, not just my own. But anyways, Temperance is looking right at the Ten of Wands. Almost like asking Mary, can you, can you let the heaviness go? You know, I have a feeling Mary would say, I felt like, and probably since then, I feel like I put all the responsibility on my shoulders for this relationship. Why would it be any different? Why would it be any different? Well, I guess that person's going to have to show you, right? But allow yourself to feel it at the same time. Because again, Temperance is saying, let go of the things you cannot control and put your trust in me. And then the magician. The manifester. It's interesting because I feel like subconsciously Mary wanted this anyway. Subconsciously. I'm saying subconsciously. But maybe like when she lays her head down on the pillow Boom. Who does she think about? Peter. Because don't forget, she's got the energy of focusing on what she has lost. It's interesting because I feel like there's been quite a time period in between, yet I feel like I, for some reason Mary still hasn't been able to clear that. Temperance is saying that's part of it. Like, you know, if I look over here, yes, I do feel like this person's energy was immature. But I do feel like they've grown. And if they haven't, there is your answer. Because I feel very quickly you're going to know that, Mary. <laughs> the magician. You know, the magician teaches the fool. And we have two pages of wands, which I call my fool all the time. Teaches the fool that to be you know, that you already possess everything you need to be successful on this next journey it's following the ten of wands i don't feel like that's what mary wants to continue with i do feel like mary is like cutting ties with someone other than this person i feel like these ties had been cut but i feel like she's cutting ties with someone else and i kind of get a feeling that this king or peter knows that and it's like, okay, to me, that means it's the right time. Okay. Let's come down to the soulmate and let's look at the bottom line. Let me put them back in order. You know, the Virgo in me likes, likes it neat. Slide these up a little. All right, I want to look at really the bottom line so the two of cups which is mirrored over here by the queen of wands and again don't forget both of them have their younger and current energy attached to them i feel like that's a sign right there strength card interesting uh card of leo first of all we have two leo cards out leo's ruler um, but this really talks about dealing with uh, our our own inner beast. You know, I feel like Peter may have, um, it's almost like, you know, maybe I drank too much. Maybe I wanted to party all the time. Maybe that's just what I wanted. Maybe it became a problem. So I had to look at that and I had to deal with it. I feel like this is talking about both soulmates here. Each of them having to come to balance within themselves first and foremost 
Strength Guard talks about that. The ability to overcome the pain of what was, the heartache of what was, right? It's like, to me, the Strength Guard is dealing with our own demons. Understanding that we all have light and dark, male, and, or masculine and feminine, you know, polar opposites, and bringing it to balance. Justice also signifies balance. Temperance signifies balance. Maybe balance is the word. Okay. Let's keep going. It's funny because the person now in the strength card is looking right over at the Knight of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, of course. Um, you know, I get the feeling that these two people are more alike than different. It's just that I feel like their younger energy was different. You know what I mean? Or, you know, maybe both liked to party back in the day. But one side, when they partied, maybe, you know, it went too far. Interesting, we have the Ten of Pentacles that came in reverse over the Three of Swords. Almost like I planned on building my life with you. But it didn't happen. Doesn't mean it can't happen. It just didn't happen then. Right? This is someone that I want to set down roots with. But instead, I got my heart broken. Then we have the Three of Cups. Well, I kind of feels like I feel like that's talking about for some, not for everyone. Um, but mainly because the strength cards out, it could talk about again like a period of time where I wanted to go out all the time. I wanted to party all the time. And that affected us. That affected us. Even if we both wanted that, I feel like one took it to extremes. It's almost like that's why I had to cut ties. Hello. Two of Cups. Right over the Five of Cups now. Now it did flip itself around. But first it showed in the upright and then it flipped. So is it in the upright? Or is it flipped? I don't know. But I feel like it's in the upright. What does this tell me? This tells me if Mary changes her focus. That there are those two cups that the Five of Cups promises. There they are. From here to here. So this is what I want. This is what I, you know, I know who I want. I want Mary. However, you know, I understand. Like, I feel like this person understands why things didn't go right. I definitely feel like they they get it. Yeah, like they get their part in it. And at the same time, as I come over to Mary, it's like I just feel like this is meant to be, to be honest. I just feel like it's meant to be. Doesn't mean it will be. But I feel like it's meant to be. They're looking eye to eye. Look at that. It's like they're on the same vibration now. You know, temperance is saying all in divine timing, right? Maybe sometimes the universe is waiting on us. What would the what would temperance be waiting on? 
for someone to change their focus out of everything they have lost, right? And again, I feel it's an emotional nature. Doesn't mean I've lost everything in my life, but you know, there's someone, there's a love, there's a soulmate that um, I one time had that for whatever the reason to get, well, we know the reasons. Um, so temperance could be like, well, waiting for Mary to change her focus and to start thinking about, like the magician, all that can be. By the way, look at that eight. Look at that eight, infinity. You know, I feel like soulmates can go through a lot and rebound, come back together. I do feel like that. Now, does that mean everything is easy peasy? Well, of course not. You know, life is life. But it's better that we work it out as a team. All right, let's keep going. So not only is the Knight of Swords jump from this spread over to this spread, so is the Two of Cups from this spread over to this spread. And I feel like there's more. I just don't, oh, the Page of Wands, this spread to this spread, the Page to the King, the Page to the Queen. The Emperor, I feel like, is talking about this King's growth. Alright, look at this. We have the Knight of Cups. It's in reverse. Okay. Now, at first I feel like, oh, bummer, it's in reverse. But then I get this feeling that this really feels like it's saying, okay, it has arrived. It has arrived. Remember, this is unexpected. I feel like you're getting married. It's like subconsciously, if not intentionally, trying to manifest her love back. As is the same over here. I feel like, you know, I don't see the Knight of Cups that often in reverse. It's funny. Um, but I feel like it's really talking about that it has arrived. All right. It's interesting because these two came in reverse also. Page of Pentacles. But then the Hangman. So... I feel like these two are now in the awakened state. These two are able to rise above these earthly problems. You know, who? The queen. The soulmates. Both of them. But definitely this queen. Again, younger energy and current energy. I feel like this is saying also that maybe Mary would like, you know, like I had hoped it would come together much sooner than this. But in the same breath, with the hangman in the awakened state, especially with the sun right there, I don't know. I just feel like that's very, very good news. I want to look at, I just want to go over this soulmate's energy, these soulmates, with that Knight of Cups in reverse, with Temperance right there, and I just want to see what else wants to come out. All right, we have the Ten of Swords, and then the Six of Wands. Ten of Swords. It's funny, when I put it down, it is touching the tower. Ten of Swords does talk about taking dagger after dagger in one's back. Now, do I feel like it was, you know, to each other? Potentially. But I feel like this is also just talking about life. Because again, I feel like Mary is sitting in her current life discontent as it relates to her emotional house. She may be fine in her finances, within her creativity and all that, but there's still something that's lacking. She's feeling it. 
but I don't want any more swords in my back at the same time. And then comes the Six of Wands, which is the energy of being victorious. You know, this is the energy of where others or someone can look up to me, can look up to you. Why? Because of actions you've taken. I feel like that's what this is saying. Like, you know, again, this could be female over here and this could be male over here. Whatever it may be. I'm just, I just gave them names. That's it. Um, but I feel like this is saying, especially with the emperor right there, that this is someone who I do feel like has changed. I do feel like these two can pull it together. And I feel like once they do, and once they're able to put the past in the past, you know, maybe I need to understand it, or maybe it's just simply immaturity, right? And I've grown past that point. Though we cannot ignore what that energy did, right? It did cause heartache. So maybe it's speaking about the ability to forgive and I feel like if there's not forgiveness, then let's not even move forward, right? Because if I carry the anger or the hurt, even though I feel like the hurt, it's going to take a moment. Um, but carrying the anger of what was, if this is what I want, it won't serve me. Okay. Okay. Let's just, now what I want to do is just go right across the board for any other messages that want to come out. Come out now. Come out now. You know, I, I, real quick, I also feel like these soulmates, you know, it may have been, maybe they were together three separate times and each time it didn't work out. Again, because energy had not been cleared. Um, because, you know, again, someone may have been more in their ego or chasing their passion versus chasing, you know, like understanding. At, you know, I feel like, again, Peter always knew that Mary was the one, but that didn't, but in the same breath, maybe Peter, part of his life lesson was to learn like I have to learn how to control my own energy I have to understand that I can't always put myself first so I feel I do feel like they may have had a repeat pattern of getting together breaking up getting together breaking up so you know why would it work this time well because I feel like energy is different now look at this judgment your spiritual team calling you to the present moment. Why? Because there's going to be a rebirth. If accepted, there's going to be a rebirth. You know, it's like your spiritual team is behind this. You know, it's like, I feel like when we cross over, we'll understand it all. Like, why did I have to go through the heartache of it? Well, you know, I think of I think of Sam of I Sam and I like and I know a lot of you are sick and tired of hearing the story, but the truth be told, we were together as pages and it didn't work out. And we did break up. And it was forty years later that at, we came back together as the king and the queen. So I get this energy. And so is your spiritual team. So it's an opportunity for a rebirth an opportunity I can see clearly now the rain is gone I can see all obstacles in my way one more let's just follow that one more whoa all right, nine of wands, and then the ace of wands. Okay, well, let me tell you, 
I love seeing the Nine of Wands because this is one taking responsibility for one's own life. This is one, you know, to me the Nine of Wands means that, first of all, it's a reflection. A Nine is always reflection, but it's reflecting back on my part, you know, and just not to judge oneself. It's just to understand oneself. And I feel like both have probably done that. But look at this. As soon as that reflection is done. And by the way, I feel like the person in the Nine of Wands or both, because maybe both have to do this reflection, they understand that, you know, first of all, I feel like there's nothing that I'm going through in this lifetime that my spirit has not already been through. I can accomplish anything. I just have to know that. And then look at this. It brings us right back to the Ace of Wands. Mary, can you hear me? Mary, can you feel me? Mary's saying, yes, I can. I can. And that is where I'm going to leave it. Because ultimately... Two people need to make that decision. Ultimately, I do feel like there is growth. Ultimately, your spiritual team came out at like the last second for what to call you into the present moment. Because even though there is a past here, this isn't about what was. This is about what can be. What can be. Wow. Um, I said I'm going to let it be, but I feel like I just want to take a Mother Mary card over all of it. Or both. You know, if, if we understand that we're spiritual beings having human experiences, we can get through a hell of a lot more than we just than when we just feel stuck in the mud as a human. You know what I mean? And that's what your spiritual team is here to remind you. That you are more than just these human experiences. That you can really overcome anything. You can. All right. Mother Mary, I'm going to give you the final word. Health. My prayers for healing miracles have been heard and answered. My prayers for healing miracles have been heard and answered. I'm going to do one more. It's funny, I just, I made up a little poem yesterday because it's like I can feel the weight of the world. And um, sometimes I just want to cry and I don't even know why. And it's because I, I feel like I can feel like people's heartache and pain. And I just want it to be healed, right? I just, hmm, I just want, just want to, you know, I don't know. Home. Home. I trust and follow my divine guidance about my home. My prayers for healing miracles have been heard and answered. And I trust and follow my divine guidance about my own. And that's where I'm going to let it be, guys. Use your spiritual discernment when you watch this reading. Understand that there are lessons. Um, understand that, like, you know, if you're not interested, then that is up to you. You know, this is not... It's never something that must be. But if I want it to be, then carrying the past energy into the present or the future won't serve me. Sometimes there doesn't need to be forgiveness. That's life. And if I'm unwilling or, or unable to forgive, doesn't necessarily mean that something can't go forward, but right off the bat, I feel like it doesn't start us with a strong foundation. That puts us right back on a weak foundation. And a weak foundation can be blown over. A strong foundation, not so much. 
I love you guys. I thank you for just allowing me to do these type of readings. Um, you know I'm going to say it's one of my favorites, but it is because I want to see all sides. And I want you to see all sides. Trust your spiritual discernment. And if this is for you, I pray that it comes together in a beautiful way. I pray that you're able to allow yourself to have a rebirth. And I pray that these soulmates live together in harmony from this day forward. Amen. I love you. I thank you. I thank you for your donations, which just allows me to stay on YouTube. Um, you know, I say it often, but it is hard to stay on YouTube because there's very little money to be made. And um, I mean, that's why I keep trying to upgrade my computer, but it's like as soon as I start saving money, of course, something happens where I got to go spend it there. Uh, but nonetheless, I thank you. I thank you for sharing these videos. Um, I thank you for subscribing. I thank you for being a subscriber. I thank you for your awesome comments. Even those that may be a little difficult for me to hear. That's okay. You have a right to your opinion. And um, I'm not going to stop your opinion. I feel like you have a right to your opinion. But I do want you to understand one thing. If this is talking about some type of narcissistic type of energy... I'm not a real believer in that they change. Now, I'm not saying they can't change. But there's no way I'm telling you to take anyone back, especially if they were abusive. Mm -mm. No, that's not what this is about. These are soulmates. And soulmates would not beat each other up. Soulmates, well, you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to let that be. These are soulmates. Infinity, no beginning, no end. I love you guys. I'll see you next time at our table. Look at the mess of my table right now. A lot of information. This may be one of those readings you may have to watch it more than once. Or as energy starts moving towards you, or depending on what side you're on, watch it again. It may, it may make more sense. You know... I do feel like 2023 is the year of the soulmates. And I know I've gotten a few comments like you keep saying that, Sandy, but I haven't met mine yet. Well, guess what? The year is not over yet. <laughs> and you never know. You never know. That's what the Knight of Cups speaks about, by the way. It's unexpected. You know, and that's just love. Like, you know, sometimes we, we can't help who we fall in love with. Anyway. I love you guys. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.